Yo, what's going on you guys? It's your boy, Shermain, aka Terry McGinnis, and I'm coming at you with a Spinal Mirror match. I think both the matches are mirror matches, if I'm not mistaken. And I promised you guys some Spinal footage, and here I am delivering. <clears throat> I'm tell you what, this guy is insane. If you couldn't tell that already by his laugh and his fight style, pretty much, this guy is nuts. He is a mix-up monster. He He's kind of a... I'm not saying I'm scared to fight him, but he, he's kind of difficult. He puts you in situations to where it's it's pretty difficult to get out of them. Um, one move that is crazy that they kept from the... Uh, they're obviously going to keep it. No, no shit, right? But it's crazy how it's implemented in this game. Like, in the old games, I didn't think too much of it. But, man, I, I'm starting to really see the benefits of his power devour move. So all you do is basically just hold back and X. And you're, you, like, take a stationary position. And I'm about to use it right here. Check it out. Look at that. I didn't take a single hit of damage. I absorbed that entire special move and gained every single hit as skulls. That's insane. And skulls are, like, one of the big keys to spinal the game plan. It's crazy because he has EX moves like everyone else. He has shadow moves. But he also has, like, a second version almost with these skulls. For instance, um, if I use... Let's say, like the the Skeleport. Well, the Skeleport, you can teleport in jumping distance in front of your opponent, right behind your opponent, which is the heavy version, or right in front of your opponent, which is the medium version. Now, if I do a heavy Skeleport behind my opponent and I have a Skull, I can cancel it into any special move. That puts me at a huge advantage. That's awesome. This guy is a freaking monster, and not a whole lot of people know how to defend against him just quite yet. And... The reason why I think I'm, you're going to see like a lot of mirror matches is people are going to try to get used to him to be able to defend him and just to play him because he's really fun. Like he's real crazy and all kinds of stuff. Like I'm making it a point to play him a lot. Like for the most part I think I got jiggled down pretty well but I really want to play with this guy now. But dude, dudes, this guy is insane. If you haven't, if you haven't got him, watch a lot of gameplay footage and see if he might be for you and you might want to get him. It's crazy because he plays with a co like a, a couple of different styles. He can be rush down. He can be defensive. He can be counter punching. This guy, this guy's insane. <laughs> for a lack of better words, you know what I mean? Really quick, you guys. There's gonna be no subscriber Sunday this Sunday for the Super Bowl. Obviously, I'm not gonna be playing any video games. I kind of doubt that a lot of other people will be playing any video games. And warning, warning, mini rant inbound. I can't stand when people fucking taunt in fighting games. Pretty much in any game, regardless. Or like if you teabag and like a shooter it's so annoying it really is to me <clears throat> you should always take your opponents seriously no matter if that applies to video games to sports to any sort of competition you never want to take your opponent lightly because then they can always you can always come back to bite you in the ass and i can kind of tolerate spinals taunt just because it's really badass but i i really don't like doing it i the only reason why I would do it is just to if someone taunts me and they get their ass kicked that's pretty much it and still at that I still feel kind of like a douchebag but okay mini rant over moving on uh, I saw a video today from acid glow and it's basically discussing spinal <clears throat> excuse me and there's a lot of points that I pretty much agreed with and that was that he doesn't expect to see spinal and really high level really high competitive matches I I agree like I don't expect him to. I don't expect to see him in tournaments where a prize is, let's say, money of some sort. I don't really see that happening. I see him in like you know local tournaments. People are playing for fun and just bragging rights because you know he's crazy and you go balls out and shit's happening everywhere and that's fun. But you know when you're playing for money and a real prize, people are really, really trying to win. People are really serious, and I don't see Spinal being used in that type of situation just because you have to manage his resources really good. You have to make sure you have shadow meter, make sure you have skulls, Most, I would say almost most importantly, and having instinct is nice as well. But I just don't see that happening because if you don't have that, then you have to get shadow meter, you have to build shadow meter and get your skulls. And most likely the only way to do that is to get a combo or a throw. And one skull is not going to do it for you, you're going to need multiple skulls, you know what I mean? So it's, it's kind of disadvantageous to use Spinal and when you're playing a really, really serious match. And it kind of sucks because I like Spinal, but like I said, I doubt that we'll see him in you know high-level competitive play. But let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you, are you liking Spinal? Do you think he's broken? 
uh, what would you like to see uh, that's pretty much gonna do it for me you guys let me know in the comment section below and I'll try to interact with you guys as much as possible more spinal footage to come stay tuned and this has been Shemate I'm out <laughs>